This is what you can do today to improve your ride tomorrow. DressageTrainingOnline.com, providing video training tools and resources for riders of all levels across the globe. Okay, here we will have an Intermediate 1 freestyle. And it's a national test because you'll see the riders carrying a whip. If it were part of the CDI, no whip would be allowed. So we need collected trot, shoulder in, right and left, extended trot, extended canter, collected walk for continuous 20 meters, extended walk, flying changes every three strides and every two strides, a minimum of five, full canter pirouettes, and halts. So now we're in the trot work. So that's left shoulder in. I would go to a 6.5. I'd like to see a little bit more angle and bend. And there I would like to see the horse a little straighter in between. And after the half circle, you saw that the haunches didn't finish and they actually went out. And then her weight was to the wrong place. So this is more of a leg yield than a shoulder in. So probably a six. She needs to contain the haunches with the outside leg. So now I would assume an extension coming up. Okay. On two diagonal lines. Better there. Seven. Collected trot. So now half pass right. A little bit more bend in haunches. Six five. Here I get the feeling that the haunches lead. So I go down to a six. And the rider's putting the weight to the outside. And see the haunches trail there also. So very minimal. Back to a six. The first two scores in the freestyle reflect the technical side, and we had mostly sixes, some sevens, so we could go seven. Uh, degree of difficulty, she did everything that was in the I-1 test, but never presented anything in a very difficult way, except maybe the canter pirouettes to the track and the shoulder ends off the track. However, she did lose the bending and the jump, so I would go six and a half. Uh, 